Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials. My name is Lazius K, and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. Now, today we're going to be talking about something really important, which is all about trying to safeguard your lenses on your Oculus Quest and also on your Oculus Go. Before you even order this, or you unwrap it, or you open it up, you need to understand that you're going to be passing your headset, whether it's the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Go, to friends and family, and they might have glasses and they might be putting it on. Now, the glasses hit the actual um, glass in the VR headset, and the VR headset glass lenses are extremely very sensitive. You have to really protect them so carefully. And once they're scratched, that's it, you're done. Now, let's go into the setup. I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Let's go. So what you're gonna get is the Clear Care product with the protectors inside, and also the sprays, which you will need to use to spray your fingers, and also the protector to put it on. Shout out goes to Open PC YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your review on these things. It really helped a lot. So when you receive them, depending on the number, they'll all put it in the same clear care uh, packet. And uh, just make sure that the surface under where you're gonna put the Quest is all nice and dust free. This is really important. Your entire area has to be very clean. Then you just remove the um, things that hold the facial interface and you also remove the facial interface so that it doesn't get wet when you're spraying stuff on it. <laughs> what I would advise you do is you also use a clean cloth uh, to wipe the surface. Again, try to minimize dust as much as you possibly can. So next step is you take the rings, you put them on the protector just to see how much space it's going to take and then maybe put a mark in the middle uh, where you have the protector so that after that what you will do is you will then cut the protector sheet in two. So the next step is to take either a marker, I mean a pencil or a pen, it doesn't really matter, I, I took a pen and you just mark the outline uh, of the ring on the protector sheet. It's best that you use the sheet that isn't sticky, it's the exterior part of the sheet. And then you'll have a nice ring there, ring shape that you'll be able to cut out. So just make sure that the size is nice and snug, otherwise you might have to cut some of the edges on the side. So uh, take your wipe and make sure that the surface of the lens is nice and clear also, as minimize as much, as less dust as you possibly can around the lenses. Really, really important. And remove the facial interface if you haven't. It actually will help you in your setup. So then what you do is uh, you spray your fingers, all your fingers with the spray. Uh, you don't have to use a lot of spray, uh, but do make sure that before you spray your fingers, you wash your hands, of course, uh, with soap and water. And then if it takes a little while, be very patient during this process. Don't rush it. It might take you a few minutes, but then once you got it, there you go. So then the next step is very simple. It's just to take the side, which is sticky, and place it on the lens. Now I recommend, even though they don't recommend to spray the lens, I recommend that you just spray the lens with one psh, and then you use your finger, which is also with spray, and you just uh, put your finger around the uh, the lens to make it uh, moist and then you can place you can move around the sticker the protective film around the lens so again be very patient you might have some bubbles around it so just use a clean cloth to press against all uh, from the center to the edge with your clean cloth and then your clean cloth will absorb the moisture so basically you'll be left with no bubbles or minimal bubbles um, inside of the actual uh, film. So what you're looking for here is if you have little bubbles, don't worry about those, but you really don't want big bubbles or a lot of, you know, product liquid inside. You really don't want that. You want it to be as transparent looking as you possibly can. The small bubbles will go away eventually. Don't worry so much about that. 
Also another tip what I found that help is keep spraying my fingers and then use my fingers to press on it to get rid of the bubbles and just make sure that everything is nice and, and shiny, transparent, uh, with as less of less as less as uh, product as possible on the lens. And also if you're really not happy or you place it the wrong way or anything, just spray the lens with your the protective film which is already on the lens. Spray it a bit, spray your finger and then just remove it, just peel it off because it's not going to be set and then start again. Just remember to be very, very patient. If you do remove it, uh, make sure that you spray the lens again and then make sure there's no dust or anything on the lens before you're going to apply the film a second time in case you want to redo your, uh, you know, the placement of the protective film on the lens. So just a tip there. And then of course, once you're done with the first lens, just repeat with the second lens. It will get easier as you do it, so don't worry. All right, and then once you're done, that's how it should look. Uh, minimal bubbles, uh, it should look as transparent as possible and all good to go. And then just let it set overnight. It will take a while to set. Uh, it might take four up to seven days to be fully transparent. And voila. All right, so today we looked at how you can potentially use clear care to actually protect your Oculus Go or your Oculus Quest lenses. Even if you decide to get, you know, spectacle custom made things, these clear care things really, really help to maintain your lenses for a long time. So I personally advise you to get these before you even start wearing your headset for the very first time. So I just want to show you uh, that, you know, this is how it looked like for after about a week. So let me see if I can get a nice and clear shot here. And they're all nice and clear. And I didn't just do it on one Oculus. This one I did about two days ago. So let me try to get it here. There we go. So as you can see, it's all nice and clear. There are no bubbles. It does take about four or five days for any or all bubbles to go away if you do have any bubbles inside. And then I also did it on another quest. So this is another quest, a third quest. I manage a business. So for me, it's very important that all my headsets are well maintained. And again, there's no bubbles. And I also did it on my Oculus Go. So this was done two days ago. And again, it's absolutely clear. In fact, I've done it on two Oculus Go's and I ordered another eight uh, protective film from Clear Care. You just get them directly from clearcare.com. And by the way, their customer service is very good. They will respond within a few days. If you have any questions, you need to get the 49 mm uh, Clear Care ones. I don't know if they're advertised. So what I do is I just buy from their website. Uh, I think it's $7.95. And then I send them an email with my confirmation code to say I need it for my Oculus Go or my Quest. I need a 45, 49 mm, sorry, 49 millimeters. And they will just respond to my email uh, directly. All right, until next time, remember to like and subscribe. Let us know if this video helped you or if there are other ways that you found in order to protect your Oculus Go or Oculus Quest lenses. Until next time, remember to subscribe, share some love so that we can gain, we can get more people into VR and grow the community and help more people uh, as possible because that is what it's all about. All right, take it easy, DJ, cue music.